All right, welcome back, ICP gang, ICP fam. We are currently looking at ICP on the 45-minute candles right now. So without further ado, we're going to get into the tech, technical analysis. <laughs> I'm having a stroke. Um, anyway, so two things going on right now. Um, one, like we've went over in the prior videos, we still overall are in a bullish market structure. Regardless of right here, we need to overall maintain this like eight dollars fifty one cents low. Um, and one or two things are happening here as well. So we've established that we do have this like channel forming, which this is a descending channel. Thus, what we know about channels are we break out in the opposite way that they are trending, meaning this is trending down. So we break out towards the upside and we also can get the measure move of said channel. Let's say we get a channel or a breakout at about uh, 11 or $12 flat. That gets us back up to about 16 But that's not the point here. The point here is should we end up coming down a bit further from where we are right now, which is at about $12.30, we are going to be looking for this first zone that we have right here, which is a range between $10.84 to $11.16. That is where you'd be looking for a higher low to come into play and bounce up to move higher. Alternatively, you're going to be looking to come down even further right here and come down into this second zone, which is between about $9.19 and $9.42. From that point, we would be anticipating that you come down and you're either going to move for a breakout or you're going to come down, get a small rally, higher low, and then you'll look for the breakout like that, essentially looking at his flag. But the fortunate part about all of this is that we are looking at 45-minute candles and not like daily candles. So this should move very quickly or relatively quickly. Um, going anything really a bit higher than that, we don't necessarily have to um, like convey right now or cover right now, I mean. But you can see overall for yourself, even if we were to tag both of these lower zones before actually moving back on up is still fine. I mean, if you bought in at the like literal top around $16, obviously you're not going to be too happy, but it does give you another opportunity to buy in lower. Um, and we still maintain that bullish market structure as long as we don't break that $8.51. Um, that being said, finally, uh, the next actual like, Target area that we are looking for is that golden box, which is between about twenty dollars seventy four cents and twenty one dollars thirty one cents. Um, other than that, so basically, conclusion is um, I want to see how we react coming down to eleven dollars. This first zone, purple box right here. Uh, I want to see how we react relatively near there. And if we are able to make that higher low, if we do, then we're going to be looking for a potential breakout. Um, and then if we end up breaking that, then we are going to be looking for the lower one to get tagged, fill in the rest of this channel, and then a channel breakout. So overall, short term right now, potentially a bit more towards the downside. And then medium to longer term, we are still looking for uh, overall sustainable upwards price movement. So other than that, none of this is financial advice. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you agree with me, disagree with me? And if you really did gain any value out of the video, be sure to give it a share. That being said, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.